What's up dreamers? Welcome to our cottage. I'm going to give you a little update because it's been a year since we moved here and we feel so blessed that we've been able to quarantine and chill in this place and it looks very different to probably when you last saw it and some of you might know I've been a bit poorly recently and so just some life updates, you know, let's get going. So this is what it looks like when you pull in on the driveway. As you can see, we've been trying to chop down these bushes so you can actually fit the car through and it just looks incredible. We absolutely love it. This is my very lame attempt at trying to grow some vegetables. It's not going great. It's kind of failing, but I might get one carrot in a couple of months time. We'll see. On this side though is the willow tree, one of my favorite parts about this place. And I'm gonna take you underneath to see the stream. Also, yep, yeah, got this nice little swing for my daughter. And someone's built this um, pretty cool sort of deck by the stream which you can chill out on. And we like to just sort of paddle in here. I mean, look at this, this, this looks like it's from some sort of period drama movie or something. The stream's pretty low at the moment because it's not really raining that much. Sometimes um, it gets way faster paced, uh, st stronger, whatever you call a stream when it's busier than this. The garden has not been easy to keep on top of. We have to do stuff like every week on this place. So the story goes, about a year and a half ago, we felt God say to us to move out of our flat, which was a small place um, closer to downtown Brighton, because he was going to give us a dream house in the country or something like that. And it was going to have a moat and it was going to be beautiful and it was going to be totally different from anything else we'd ever done. And so we did. We moved out of our flat and... We waited and God didn't do anything and we were like, what is going on? We've been sofa surfing for six weeks with a small little girl. Um, and then suddenly out of nowhere, we got a message from a, um, not a direct friend of ours, but we had loads of mutual friends. Um, and he contacted us saying, hey, I've, um, I've heard that you guys are looking for a place to stay short term. I've got this place and it just needs a lot of work. So if you want to move into it, you can but I need your help keeping on top of things and making it look nice. And we came to see it and we were like, a deal. For like the first two months, we were painting and cleaning and fixing things up. And we're sort of at a stage now where it's way more comfortable. So I feel way better giving you guys a little tour on what it looks like. So let's do this. So this is the main house and this is like the annex place. It's like a newer built and over here is some sort of strange like stage steps area. A super cool bonus about moving here was this trampoline, which me and my little girl go on every day. She freaking loves it. Look at this, the washing's out. We're so country right now. Got the barbecue here, the picnic bench. You might recognize this area from where I do my TikToks, but also over here, around the back of the house, secret little entrance there to a massive field where usually there's lots of cows and stuff. Around the front of the house, this is my car here. I've got all these rocks because one time there was a storm and this whole part of the wall <laughs> fell down and I'm kind of wondering, uh, what to do, really. <laughs> it's kind of sketchy. So I thought I'd just show you inside the annex quickly first. There has been so many people um, come and stay and so it's sort of, you know, stuff coming and going. It's a little bit of a mess because um, up there is a bedroom and in there is a shower and bathroom. And yeah, we've had a few people come and stay for different sort of periods of time and it's been, yeah, really fun. So again, not super tidy because I'm just making a quick video for you guys. But here's our kitchen, which we have sort of painted and cleaned up quite a lot. Fridge through there. We've had um, a few sort of power cuts and this tripping out and a few things we've had to sort of deal with. We've also had a little mouse slash potentially a rat problem that we had once but from down there. But it looks like we've just about sorted it. 
This is the lounge, and here's my mother having a cup of tea. And here are my girls playing. Hi guys. Hi. Kind of unique and creative and interesting to navigate all things. As I come up the stairs, here, oh wow, super messy as well. This is the sort of master bedroom. I just love all these beams and stuff. It's so good. Okay, see these people are going past right now. Okay, usually this room is fine and on the weekends, right by this window there's like a public footpath and so we get like people on horses people with dogs mountain bikes coming by on the weekends and you have to sort of make sure you're not standing by the window you're all naked basically oh there's more people i can see them what's up jimmy what's going on and having a nice little ramble i want you guys to think that i'm kind of clever so this is the book i'm reading at the moment and i don't read many books so i'm going to pretend that i read them like all the time here are the important pictures of my baby boy, due in a couple of months. Swing it round, and this is where new baby will be um, getting changed. Through here is our little girl's bedroom, where she sort of sleeps and plays and hangs out and uses potty. She's actually really into her Bible at the moment, which is so fun. To my favorite room which is where I have my bubble bath. Again, this is so messy, I'm so sorry. But this is where I chill every morning um, to read the Bible and look out the window and it's so relaxing and there's a creepy baby. Right, we're now gonna head up into the attic. We got a couple of spare beds up here and this is where, as you can see, this chair's here because I'm potentially gonna make this into uh, some sort of office area. Let's go out here. Little view outside the window, trampoline. Um, sadly, it's too far to jump from here onto the trampoline. Truth is, we have been so blessed to live here. We don't know how much longer that we are gonna be staying here. At some point, um, the, the man who owns this place, he's so nice, but at some point he will be um, having to sell it, of course. You are probably wondering if we pay rent here, and yes, we do, but we do get a decent discount because, of course, we help do a lot of the things that maybe a landlord usually would do, and we are, yeah. We've particularly loved, like, the Christmas period. It was so good because we had, like, the fire on and the family over, and it was so cosy, and obviously, um, during lockdown, um... Just the sunshine, just barbecues, chilling in the garden hasn't been too bad. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling way better. Thanks so much for all the messages. Um, it's now been, yeah, a couple of months since I had some sort of emotional breakdown. And you can, I'll put, I'll link at the end of this video where you can watch a bit more about that. But I'm buzzing that lockdown is over. We can get out there and we can hug people and kiss people and all that sort of thing. Um, but that's pretty much just the video I'm going to make for now because I didn't want to do anything too big or too deep and, you know, get all tired and stressed again. Um, so I just wanted to do a really simple one to say, this is where we live. This is what it looks like. This might answer some questions. And we're so blessed and thankful to God for what he did and the miracle and just the prophetic stuff that happened before we moved in here um, a year ago now. So woohoo, one year, first birthday. Yay. Bye.